Hey friends, Bob Barber here, Intime Dreaming Division. I got a dream I'm going to share with you guys. It's from Elizabeth, and it's an Oprah dream. Once again, Oprah is coming into our dreams here. This is her second dream that she had of Oprah. And um, Oprah, we all know, she has been kind of writing the skirt tales of the Illuminati. And who knows how involved she's in, how much she's involved with now the Illuminati. That only, that's the only thing that explains why her rise to fame was so fast and so great. You know, because of backing of the Illuminati, probably financially backing her show and everything. Because they knew eventually they're going, she's going to have a huge following of people that are going to follow her. And they're going to listen to everything they say. What's that going, Joe? Well, what does Oprah think? What's Oprah going? Well, we should ha we should make Oprah president. You know, if, she, if, you, if you don't think that she doesn't have influence, she has a lot of influence. Some people are so stupid that they will believe everything that this woman says. Okay? Who knows? She may be possessed by a demon right now. And everybody's just falling for her crap. Just because she can give away a free car to everybody or a TV show. I guarantee you this. Those free cars weren't paid for by her. The Illuminati paid for them. So, anyways, let's get into it. Oprah Winfrey. Let's see, Oprah Winfrey is standing, about to give a speech. This is the dream now that Elizabeth had, back in 2013. Oprah Winfrey standing out, standing about to give a speech in like a small chapel studio. It's a studio dressed up to look like a small chapel. Small, harmless, I'm not going to hurt you. You're special here. It's a little church. You can feel like somebody here, because everybody knows your name. Okay, that's the setting that she's doing right now. It's on a low stage. Most of the people have not arrived yet. She is dressed in like an orange jacket skirt suit. Even though she appears to want to de detract any accolades, she's looking quite pleased with herself. Now, this was the first two times. This is the first of two times Oprah has come into my dreams. And I do remember the other one you sent me about Oprah. So, what's Oprah doing in your dreams? Well, I believe what this is, is a premonition. This is a, um, a vision of what's to come of Oprah. Now, I don't follow Oprah, and she might be doing this already. But this is actually a setting for a TV show that she's going to be doing in the future. Whether it be after the rapture, or before the rapture, during the tribulation, end of the tribulation. Well, it won't be end of tribulation, she could... Everything will be being destroyed anyways. But uh, this is going to be something that's going to be implemented now. Much like everything else out there, it does not lead to Jesus Christ. Now, what she, Oprah believes, and she's pronounced it, she's uh, told, every, told the world that all roads lead to God. And they don't. They don't. God did not create 11 ways to get to heaven, Oprah. Only one. And that is his son, Jesus. Get over yourself. You're not that great. You think you got the answer nobody else does. You don't. Jesus is the only way to heaven. God didn't create 11 ways. Only one. Jesus. Now, what she's going to do, you watch Oprah now. What she's going to do, she, what she's going to do, if she hasn't done it already, she's going to go from all this like political stuff and war, whatever she's doing right now, and she's going to turn all religious. She's going to turn all religious and say, everybody, look, just come to me. And we're all going to just, and we're just going to embellish ourselves and all the theories and doctrines and all these roles that can lead to God. And I'm going to support every single theory out there and just be a liaison for all the 11 different ways you can get to, get to God. Except the only way I will not support is Jesus Christ. I promise you that's what she's going to do. And we may not be here for it. We may not be here for it. In fact, you know what? It might be one of these things that uh, when the rapture takes place and the Christians are all taken out of the way, or well, you're going to have Christians left behind, but they won't be knowledge, won't have enough knowledge to know the true way, which is Jesus Christ. And uh, even though they call themselves Christian, I love those people. But they're, I'm a Christian. I say, oh, really? What did Jesus Christ do? Well, he uh, he, he died on a stick. And, <laughs> and you call yourself a Christian. I got friends like that right now. But um, anyways, what she's going to do, the world's going to be looking for a savior at this point. 
And I bet you what she's going to do, she's going to be one, just one more mouth crying in the wilderness. Prepare ye for the way of the Antichrist, the way of Chrislam or Islam, Christianity, Islam, and all false doctrines. You can come to me, Oprah, and watch my show, and I can show you the way to heaven. We're all going to heaven. Little do you know that she's made a deal with the devil, and she's go she thinks she's going to get her Im you know, immortality chip or whatever she's going to get, along with the rest of the elitists and Illuminati. And, of course, they're all being lied to right now. You know, so they're all going to go to hell with Satan. So, um, what do you guys think? Oprah's new TV show. If she hasn't started in this direction yet, or has she started in this direction? I don't follow her. I never did. I never liked her, ever. Can't stand her. But uh, if uh, you guys did, if you guys used to like her, then, then you know, we're all different. You know, but um, she does, she's very, very charismatic. She knows how to work people. She knows how to work communities. She knows how to work social. I mean, she knows how to, she just knows how to get her face out there and get people believing in what she believes in and to follow her. You know, one thing I want to make mention of is that whole, you know, you guys see that Black Eyed Peas dance as she did with everybody, but the Black Eyed Peas on stage when she made everybody out in the audience, which is outside of like thousands of people do this dance. You know, and they're doing this dance and this whatever stupid dance. And she they she made those people sit up there in the sun and suffer for three hours trying to get this dance right. Just so turn the cameras off right now so we can all learn this dance. Then once the once we get it all done, turn the cameras back on. Some of these people are out here be, getting drunk being stupid and probably a lot more on the go, but they like the black eyed peas. They probably don't give a crap about Oprah, but they like the black eyed peas. Well, they end up doing this dance. You can go on YouTube and watch it. But, you know, that dance, I tell you what, man, I, I bet you any money that was a demonic seance dance that they did. And it was thousands of people, and it led to some BS somewhere. <laughs> you know, but I bet you that was a demonic dance because she pushed it as hard as she can. Whether she wanted to get all the glory, look what I'm doing for you, Allah. Satan or whatever God she is, false God that she, other false God that she's, uh, you know, praying to, you know, just another thought. Because I know that definitely wasn't, that wasn't something spiritual of Jesus that they were doing out there. And we all know they do spiritual dances during the, uh, during the uh, Super Bowls, you know, demonic seances and stuff like that. So, you know, whoa, really, Bob, you really believe all that? Yeah. Man, you better start picking up the B-I-B-L-E and start reading it, buddy. Man, it's, they're going to call evil good and good evil. And who's Oprah? She's evil. And they're going to call her good. All roads do not lead to God. Only Jesus. You know, God the same was. It's got God the same before, now, and it will always be the same. You know? Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven, folks. Not the Oprah, enter my show and go through my portal and choose 11 different ways you can go. Doesn't work that way. Sorry. So this will be Oprah's new TV show. Her new religious go to heaven, get to God through my show, Oprah, or where Oprah becomes a preacher or some type of show she's going to be doing. And I believe this, this dream is a vision of the future. Of what's going to become of Oprah. So please like, please share, subscribe, comment on this dream. Comment on it. If you need a Bible, email me. I need a Bible at rpb642 at gmail.com. I'll get it out to you right away. And uh, if you have dreams or visions, email me. It's in the description box below, rpb642 at gmail.com. So God bless you guys. Shalom.